Hi there and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I was asked if I could uh, present my Viking kit, uh, all my Viking stuff so to speak. <laughs> um, I have a lot so I decided to um, make a presentation of my, what I like to call my Viking Woodsman kit. So uh, starting from the top here I carry three arrows, uh, nothing fancy about those, um, self-made um, and uh, they are um, tuned in, so to speak, to my, to my longbow, which I have here. This is a U longbow, it's quite a heavy bow. Um, I carry a small axe. Now this was... Uh, uh, this design is a, uh, they say it's a replica from um, uh, the, the, the smith, uh, the Öjo uh, farm um, in Norway and they found at least the, the, the axe head there, so they made a replica. Um, I see no reason to carry a bigger axe when I go out in the woods. Um, I'm not chopping down trees, so, so this is perfect size. Um, some uh, mittens. Uh, don't know the English word for it's not knitted mittens it's uh, like they did in Viking Age. Um, lovely warm mittens. Uh, yes and my woolly hat. I can put this here. <clears throat> A spoon. I made that one myself. <laughs> You can probably see I made it myself, so uh, but it works perfectly. Um, yes, my uh, beautiful uh, socks. Uh, I had uh, uh, Hamish um, <clears throat> from Half uh, Goat Leatherworks to make the sheath. Uh, it's a beautiful sheath, um, and I had it uh, designed so that it will work as a bushcraft knife and during camping uh, and so on as well. It, it, it hangs not horizontally but more like this. So, so that's not, I guess, some would say that's not historically correct but I don't care. It, it, in this case it uh, needs to be practical. Well, yes, it looks like this. It's brand new this sheath. And this is actually, it's a big knife, but it's very practical. It's, it's a one-off, um, I have to say, but it's, uh, and it's, it's not as heavy as you would think. It, I use it for carving feather sticks and all sorts of tasks. A uh, smaller knife here. Um, I use this mostly for whittling and, uh, yeah, preparing. Uh, food and so on. Uh, I have a cup here. It's uh, rather large uh, but I <laughs> and it's it's not a lightweight option but I love this cup. Um, it's uh, yeah it's it's got my my bindruna bindrun is that the word carved here. <clears throat> Uh, yes, my, my belt uh, pouch. Uh, nothing in this now because I put it here. I have a fire steel and a flint. Um, yeah, this is a needle for my, my um, woolen cape. I haven't got that with me today. A sharpening stone. Um, and of course, <coughs> because of the weather in Norway now, it's December and it's, everything is wet. Uh, I brought some dried grass with a, a pink string, I noticed now. <laughs> I brought this from back home. <clears throat> so that's my basic equipment and of course um, I carry it all in this basket. Uh, I normally carry a... Uh, uh, this is a... Uh, this skin and a... Um, reindeer skin and uh, 
a sheepskin like this and if I bring this I, ca I can be quite comfortable out in the woods for a day hike of course this is not for an overnighter so this is what I normally bring um, some of it is practical uh, some of it is not as practical <laughs> I uh, I don't really need a bow and arrow, but I bring it anyway. Um, and uh, as I said, this is my basic kit. I might add a few more items when it's very cold. Um, but this is my Viking Woodsman kit. Now there is one thing I haven't brought with me that I, I normally uh, bring. It's, uh, it's a type of fungus called Chaga which is used to uh, catch a spark from your flint and steel. Uh, I'm out of chaga, so um, I have to go and fetch some more out in these woods. Now, um, I have an alternative, which is not maybe so historically correct, but it's uh, <coughs> um, my from my bushcraft kit. Uh, I brought some char cloth. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. So we'll use that as an alternative today. We'll remove this this pink string. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is just to make some fire. Go oh. I'm sorry about all the mess. Um, let's see now. So if if there are lots of videos on YouTube about how to make fire with flint and steel, but let's see if we can do it now. Um, We have a spark going there. Can you see this? Yeah. So you, you put this inside here. Uh, what a mess. Now this is uh, going to catch fire, uh, I'll just move it away from um, all my stuff here. Like this, and you use this to um, obviously uh, light some larger sticks um, as always I've, I'll, I'll just put it uh, put it here so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you would like to consider subscribing to this channel then uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, I'm doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, so that's uh, that's uh, that's coming up. Um, uh, 
and thanks for watching. Um, I will be posting another video uh, next weekend. Uh, I think it's uh, appropriate now to say uh, Merry Christmas and Go Jul, as we say here in Norway. Um, and uh, have a peaceful and wonderful holiday. Take care.